Yeah, what's good? What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing out there? Another review, man. You know how I do, man. We're going to New York, New York. Go visit Dirty Rob. Sounds like I got to say it like an AK. Dirty Rob, man. Like Dirty Rob, the way you spell it, man. But Dirty Rob from New York, New York. I uh, put out an album February 22nd, 2024. Uh, let's get into it. It's self-produced. So the dude got skills. He's on the sound system and he's on the mizzik so let's talk about it man uh the intro the minister gives us some optimistic words to guide to better conditions you know you just got the minister on there spreading some good words man trying to give us get us ready for the album and uh, all the brain food that dirty rob's going to provide um so let's get into it the first record is called Holy Hell featuring El Camino. Now, feature El Camino, a.k.a. Mr. BSF. Lester track with an eerie Buffalo vibes, man. Shout out to uh, Buffalo, New York rappers. Shout out to BSF, Benny and them. And El Camino, man. And El Camino doing his thing, man. So, shout him out. Uh, Dirty Rob sounds like an early mad skills. Like, he does sound like mad skills. Don't front. Y'all know he sound like mad skills. Y'all don't know who mad skills is. Do your hip hop homework, but he does sound like Mad Skills. Um, it just is it what it is. I mean, do they rap the same? No, but his cadence, his flow, sometimes, majority times, sounds like Mad Skills. Is that a good thing or a bad thing for rappers? You let me know. You know. Um, so yeah, like I said, his voice and his flow duplicate Mad Skills, but it's also, um. But he also has mad skills on the mic. So it's not like he sounds like him and he's imitating them or whatever. Some rappers just sound alike, man. So it, it is what it is. And it's not a bad rapper to sound like. That's all I got to say. Number three, Mind of Allah. Uh, the Mind of Dirty Rob is constructive, useful, and productive. The riveting beat has rapper on the right side of the track. You know, he's speaking a lot of um things that he cares for loves and he wants to get out to us so yeah you know brain food man brain food for us man he's giving us that brain food uh number four move accordingly love the tempo of the instrumental as rapper raps accordingly and confident about what's correct in the world at least what's correct to him uh he says monkey see monkey do but they see through so you know monkey see monkey do you know that 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 famous the famous three monkeys um basically you just saying don't do stupid things don't follow stupid people i mean think for yourself you know uh number five food uh track is dark and dingy and gives off a haunting vibe dirty continues to write pure bars to hit the brain uh i'm not a rapper i write rhymes now this was a quote not from uh this album but it was from Bandcamp. go check out his band camp go support the artists go support artists on band camp man dirty rob it's on bottom cop he's also on dsps but you know give him the the best dollar you know on band camp number six no tags featuring rim r.i.p to uh pete you know all right pete I like what he does that. So he's basically shouting out. When he does that, I hope you guys know when Rem does that, he's just shouting out uh, Sean Price. And he's saying RIP. And he's just basically uh, giving homage to the king. So feature Rem reminds us of the great, which is Sean Price, as he becomes great himself in the booth. Uh, rappers are shopping bars around without tags. Uh, song has substance. I like this record. Uh, seven, maker and the owner, Eddie Rem. Eddie Rim, Eddie Kane, <laughs> Eddie Kane and Rimmer's back. Uh, rappers are on the right page with this message. Uh, the maker and owner equals passive income. It does. You know, you make something, you create something, you're the owner of something. You know, you can get money there and then or you get, it accumulates passive income. You know, like my books, you know, shout out to the books, man. Get the books, man. Severe's Chronicles, Severe's Classics, Volume 2, now on the audio. First book. It's out as well. First book's not on audio, but this one is. And get the five ebooks I got too as well. Stop playing, man. Support the merch if you can too. 
let's get back to the album, Maker and Owner, man. You know, it just reminds me of, you know, owning your stuff, owning your masters and things of that nature, man. Uh, Brooklyn's own uh, Eddie Kane and Rim bring additional listening logic to fill the plate, man. So stop playing. Shout out to Eddie Kane and Rim. Man, they are Brooklyn's finest. So y'all go check out Eddie Kane and Rim. They're doing Brooklyn proud. Number eight, Slow Burn featuring Act and the Uzi 258. Track gets dirty and damp as features Act in the Uzi 258. Join the slow cooking of Mr. Rob's main dish, man. Uh, not familiar with the features, but I'm going to have to tap in, you know. Uh, last track, Rob You, Think Different. You know, Dirty Rob gets a bit vulnerable and speaks on difficult subjects in his life. Uh, his mind delivers food for who chooses to listen. Now, do you choose to listen to this album? Do you choose to listen to Dirty Rob? Uh, what do you think about Dirty Rob? What's your favorite song on this album? 2024, I Be Supreme Music. Start playing. We coming back from New York, New York. And we back in Boston. We back in the Bean, man. What's going on, y'all? How y'all doing out there? Let me know some albums. It's half the, half the year is over. Half the year is over. Let me know some albums that I've missed that I haven't reviewed yet. Maybe haven't even listened to. Let me know in the comments below, man. Uh, you'll be surprised what I have listened to. You'll be surprised what I haven't. So let me know in the comments albums I should be tapping into. Shout out to Dirty Rob. Brain Food. I like this joint. And uh, Love Over Hate, man. Love over hate, man. Yo. <laughs> Peace out, yo. What?